Hey you guys, um, well, I thought I'd do my hand of vlogging because we're about to get this Hurricane Teddy coming our way. Um, the rains are supposed to start to arrive tomorrow morning, which is Tuesday morning. And then the storm surge slash hurricane, blah, 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 whatever. <laughs> is supposed to arrive uh, probably sometime early Wednesday, late Tuesday, early Wednesday kind of thing. And who knows, but again, everything's up in the air. It's wind, it could change, it could keep on going in the path it's going right now, which would mean obviously that Halifax and Nova Scotia in general is going to get slammed as well as uh, Newfoundland and Labrador as well. So, and a little bit of PEI, I believe. Anyway, Nelson is back on the West Coast for the next few weeks for training purposes. So it's just me, Willow, and Monty. So what I thought I'd do is like, I'm going to try my hand at vlogging and kind of show you guys the calm before the storm, show you what I'm going to do to prepare a little bit. So it's going to be a little bit broken up. Obviously, I'm going to be different. It's going to look different all the time, but I'm going to show you as I go along because last year during Hurricane Dorian, which was classified at, at one point through us, which was classified as a class two, um, uh, you know, I post a lot of that on Facebook, and but a lot of you guys didn't get to see it. So now I'm going to be posting this on YouTube. <laughs> All right, so um, yeah, I'm going to swing the camera around so you guys can see the calm before the storm. Okay, stay tuned. Okay, so as you can see, the calm before the storm. It is gorgeous out. I have to work tonight at Costco. Um, it is Monday night. It's been really busy at Costco. Not only obviously are we in the middle of a pandemic, but we're in a pandemic and a big storm slash hurricane possible, possible hurricane our way. And you know, everyone's buying bulk and I, here on the, on the East Coast, they call it storm chips. So whenever a storm arrives, um, people buy their storm chips, AKA snack foods that they don't have to heat. Basically we sell a lot of junk food. <laughs> We learned that, Nelson and I learned that term uh, last year during Hurricane uh, Dorian. So anyway, moving along, this is the calm before the storm. And of course, I will take you along each and every step. And yeah, so I'm going to, there's a book I haven't even read that I bought and I was, was so excited to receive that I'm certain I'm going to have to, not have to, that I'm certain I'm going to be reading a lot of because I'm sure our power was out will be out. I know uh, during Hurricane Dorian last year, we were without power for 39 hours, which is nothing. Some people were out for two weeks here, so 39 hours, not so bad. Um, Costco will remain open, like not 24 seven, but it'll remain open. They have generators and they're ready. So I'm working, um, I'm off Wednesday, which is supposed to be in the middle of the storm. Thursday, I am working the night shift. So hopefully by then the storm will have just like, we're just on the tail end and some rain. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to show you guys, I had like one really big candle that served Nelson and I really, really well last year for Hurricane Dorian. So I'm really hoping to bust that sucker out again. And of course I'll show you the book that I will potentially be reading when I have absolutely no power and I have candlelight to read it with. All right, you guys stay tuned. All right. So I'm just prepping myself cause I am working in between the storm. This candle is a huge, ginormous candle. I was gifted by the company. Um, the company is Flashpoint. Um, this was from the US. This is one of a kind pottery. I've had this for a couple of years, you guys, and it's supposed to be an outdoor candle, clearly, because there are so many wicks. There are 12 wicks in this sucker. But you see, and I used to use this outside, but um, although it's nice and it's not super cold here, I will have like perhaps a window cracked open or what have you. But the reason why it's an outdoor candle is because of all of the wicks. But in the Hurricane Dorian last September here on the East Coast, it served us well. It gave us lots of light. We were without power for 39 hours. I did trim the wicks here. have been trimming my wicks for all the candles upcoming here. Just preparing myself this wick trimmer I actually got on my very first haul from Victoria um, Candles by Victoria. So I got this wick trimmer, it's beautiful, love it. Um, so I've been just doing some trimming here from this candle. It's just huge. Like I said, it's a 12 wick candle, it's huge. But also here I have been burning my Aveda, um, was it Rosemary Mint? So I'm gonna have this between our my bedroom 
and our bathroom. So if I have to go to walk to the bathroom, if we have no light, I will just take this with me. This one I will have in the other bathroom and maybe the kitchen. Actually, I'll probably put this one in the kitchen. And this one will be, um, actually, no, I will put that one in the other bathroom and this one in the kitchen um, because this one will be where the living room is, um, where I'll probably be reading and so on. So this is from last year. It's my favorite fall candle. Uh, next to it, I'd say it's Marshmallow Fireside, but this is Bath & Body Works Autumn. You're either a leaf, a leaf fan or an autumn fan, and I'm an autumn fan. So I've already picked out the scent that I want to wear for a comforting, um, obviously to feel comforted. It is just me and Willow. So this is Kay Alley's Vanilla 28. This is one of my absolute, this is probably my favorite, current favorite vanilla perfumes. Since I probably won't have any wax going, like no warmers going, I'll just have the candles here. Um, I'm definitely going to dust myself with this. <laughs> And of course, we've got Midnight Sun by Stephanie Myers. Um, I purchased this a while ago from Chapters, which is a book um, bookstore here, kind of an everything store, but a bookstore, uh, a while ago. And I still haven't been able to just take the time to read it. But with the eminent power outage looming, I'm certain I'll be reading this while wearing this and with the glow of that. So there you have it, guys, just preparing for her, for Hurricane Teddy to hit the East Coast, Nova Scotia. All right, guys, see you very soon. All right, just to give you guys an update, I only have this tiny little area in our living room to be able to put some of the things that I know that I should bring in for the storm coming. So I've got some towels laid out there. I am OCD. I keep this place pretty dang clean. I will be laying towels down everywhere and I've got like a bit of patio from Willow says hi. There she is, right there. Hi Willow. Yes, very chatty. You ready for the storm? Yes, she's ready. <laughs> so anyway, I'm gonna lay these out. I've got a few items I gotta bring in. It's gonna be very crowded in this living room for the next little while. I put the patio lights on tonight, so <laughs> just to put them on before the storm, you know? I don't know. She wants out now. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to give you guys a look-see of what it looks like right now, and then when I come back, it's going to be very crowded in here. All right, and that's that. Okay, well, um, there's my living room. Like A third of the living room is being taken up by everything from the patio, so I'm just going to go outside and show you the patio. We live on the poor story, and left. the lights should be fine. They're tucked right under. These are super duper heavy. They should not move at, at all. Um, I might lose obviously pedals, but other than that, nothing big. And these are on very, very tightly. If I am here and I see things moving because I am off Wednesday, then of course I'll bring them in, but I don't think they will. And this is completely secured to the actual railing, just like these. I've got fudgy cords all over, all over the place. Anyway, again, the calm before the storm. Again, this is Monday night. Storm is supposed to be here about Tuesday night slash Wednesday morning. And there's Willow checking out why. Where'd all the furniture go? Yeah, there you go. Well, it's now Tuesday morning. So not the calm before the storm. That was yesterday, Monday. Um, I think we're supposed to be getting heavy, and I mean heavy rains, of course, in the next hour or so. Um, what time is it? It is like almost eight o'clock in the morning on Tuesday and the rain is supposed to start any time now and probably continue for the next day and a half. So I'll keep you updated but because you can see the trees and my little flowers it's just getting a little breezy. You got to remember I'm on the fourth story of a um, condo complex so of course it can be a bit more breezy up this way but it is a little breezy and um, I'm enjoying some my coffee because I need to. <laughs> All right guys just a quick update. Okay, so now moving on to about 11 o'clock in the morning on Tuesday, the 22nd of September. And the rain is definitely here. Now there's a patio above, so we are a bit um, sheltered, I guess. Excuse me, just hiccuped. Um, but it's definitely raining. It definitely gets gusty right now, but it's going to be, obviously, we're not even, the hurricane hasn't even made it to, to us. We're just on the outskirts at the moment, so... 
Um, again, I have to work at Costco tonight from 5 p.m. till 10 p.m. Of course, they have generators and that, so we'll be open regardless of rain, shine, hurricane. Um, other than that, oh, there's a gust. You can sort of see the little plants there too. Yeah, other than that, keep an eye on what direction the trees are blowing. I like to do that because in a hurricane, as I found last year, my first hurricane, the trees were blowing in one direction, okay, and for hours. And then when we were in the eye of the storm, it was dead calm for about two, three hours. And then on the receiving end, the wind was blowing in the opposite direction that it was before. So it's very interesting to me. I find it very intriguing. Anyway, that's just a quick update. Again, it's about 11 o'clock in the morning on Tuesday the 22nd. Um, yeah, if anything significant uh, happens between now and when I go to work, I'll let you know. All right. We're going to sneak up on Willow over here because I think she's sleeping. You know, like as if nothing's ever happening. Yep, she's sleeping. Right there. Totally asleep. Oh. Hi, Winnow. And she's like, I just want to go back to sleep because that's what I do best. And nighty night. Night night. Love you. Hey guys, just wanted to check in with you guys. It's now getting towards the evening on Tuesday, the 22nd of September. Um, the next shot I'm going to show you, I'm going to turn you around and go show you outside again like I have the last couple times. I'm just getting ready for work. I do work a shift tonight at Costco from 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. Um, I'm already imagining, like, it's, you know, it's like one of those things where, like, I think I'm, I'm going to be drenched before I even start work. Like, my feet are going to be soaked. Ooh, I just thought of, like, boots I can put on to at least keep my feet dry to get inside and then change my shoes when I get there. Thank you. Thank you, YouTube, for getting me to talk it out. So anyway, uh, moving along, I am working tonight, and it's just really quite windy. Um gusty windy a lot of rain right now but um the bulk of the storm as long as it continues the way it's said to is supposed to be hitting like in the early wee hours in the morning or really really late tonight uh, so we'll see how that goes i'll turn you guys around stay tuned and there you have it <laughs> it's pretty miserable outside but um it's raining pretty hard yeah it's just it's just gross but other than that, it's not that bad. I mean, it's a little breezy, but I mean, it gets windy here. There's no mountains to hide behind. So, so far, so good. So now I'm on my way to work, and I will check in with you either later tonight to let you know if we lost power or not. <laughs> All right. Talk to you soon. Hey, guys. It is Wednesday morning, the 23rd of September. It is definitely a little more stormy but still not as bad like this is definitely a tropical storm at the moment there's nothing major to talk about um just very windy woke up just a few moments ago it is windy i worked till um actually we were sent home a little early yesterday just because um there were more <laughs> there were more staff at costco than there were clients or memberships because Everyone was really smart this time and got a, got ready ahead. So anyway, just wanted to show you it's it is stormy, it is windy. Um, it's not nice, but it it's not bad. We still have power. Um, it's just a really really bad wind at the moment. But again, it's twenty after seven. Who knows what's gonna bring? So I will always update you. Hey guys, I just wanted to check in with you guys. It is around eleven o'clock in the morning. Oh, hiccup again on Wednesday, the 23rd of September. So we're supposed to be kind of almost in the heart of this now tropical storm. The hurricane, I don't think, has been downgraded for a while now. So, I mean, it's just a typical windy day. So this is not a really exciting vlog, I guess. Like, I'm not really showing you guys anything exciting. Um, but I'm, I'm going to spin you guys around in a moment here just to show you. The sun came out. It is definitely windy still. We aren't through this. We still have a few more hours of weather to get through. Um, but today being September 23rd, la, la, Mark, sorry, one full year that Miss Willow has lived out here on the East Coast and became an indoor cat. So yeah, I'll just put you guys around so you can see uh, outside, okay? And as you can see, it is definitely cloudy. Um, that area over here is Dartmouth. So it is part of obviously Nova Scotia, but it's a little ways away. It's definitely more cloudy over there. It's actually gotten quite sunny. The clouds are moving very quickly, which makes sense. 
I think we're downgraded to a tropical storm now, so uh, we'll see how it goes. We still have a few hours left of the storm. It's windy. Yeah, we've had some pretty good gusts, but otherwise pretty good, so yeah. Sneaking over here to Miss Willow. Hey, Miss Willow and her little mousy. Oh, good yawn. She has been here for a whole year now. September 23rd, 2019 is when we flew her out. It's her first flight ever. And it was a long, long flight, poor thing. But she was so happy to be on my lap. I remember I gave her a bath when she came back because you know, she was in the cat carrier for a good 12 plus hours uh, flying all this way. And gave her a quick little sponge bath. Oh, that was a gust. <laughs> and, um, then basically we just sat, I remember that day we just sort of laid on the couch together and she just snuggled in my legs. Because at that point I hadn't seen her for a month because we'd moved, but we were just trying to get settled in before we had her move out here so that all of her stuff, like things that she would recognize, like the bed and the furniture and things like that. So anyway, she's doing much better as you guys can see. She's only down to... Oh, and that's my oven ready for me to put something in it. Um, she is only doing her uveitis eye drops right now. So that's awesome. So she's off of the antibiotics. And because she's off the antibiotics, she's more hungry. Hence, I do not have to also give her another type of pill to uh, kind of induce hunger for her. Because um, when she was on her antibiotics, obviously, it makes her tummy feel yucky. And she wasn't eating as well. But... She's a healthy eater now, and her fur feels so, so much better, doesn't it, Willow? Yeah, Betty rubs. Oh, Betty rubs. She's like, oh, high five to the camera. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, we're, we're lapping this up, aren't we? But yeah, I just thought I'd uh, share a little bit here. Miss Willow is not phased at all of quote-unquote Hurricane Teddy. Um... Teddy you might as well just be a teddy bear because she's all like, hey, I'm getting belly rubs and I'm, I'm enjoying life. All right, well, happy one year anniversary, Willow. We've gone through a lot, especially in the last few months, but you've done really, really good. She's purring like crazy. <laughs> so I hope you guys are enjoying these vlogs. Let me know. Like, I'm just going to compilate, obviously, because we've had the storm, um, some stuff. But if you guys like vlogs, let me know. And if I can do them, I will. All right, you guys, take care. Well, guys, I'm happy to announce that I think we're pretty much done this tropical storm that was at one point Hurricane Teddy that really was just a really nasty windstorm. It really was a tropical storm. Just making some tea. I'm feeling a little under the weather, a little. Like, I feel like I'm my body is fighting something. Like, I did work seven full days at straight at work, like full, full days, and they're quite physical. Um, and, and that was a while ago, but I think my body's had time to like relax a little bit. And I was all like, well, now that you're relaxed, I want you to be sick. So I'm doing everything I can. I'm drinking like honey with my tea and just getting as much rest and I need a nap. So I'm going to have a nice bath tonight, that kind of thing. So anyway, I just want to let you know, hurricane really didn't mount to very much. Not to say that we won't hear there might be some damage. I imagine some like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily trees would be down, but I would imagine some good chunks of branches might be off some trees because there's still a lot of foliage on the trees. Therefore, that could happen a lot more than in the middle of winter. So anyway, so far so good. And we never lost power here in the HRM or, you know, the main part municipality of Nova Scotia or Nova Scotia <laughs> of Halifax. Uh, regional municipality, which is HRM. So we're, we've fared very well. Willow pretty much, I woke her up just a few minutes ago because she's literally been in bed since she woke me up this morning at 7.05. That's what she does. She gets me up and then she proceeds to go to bed after. And she's actually down here. I'm going to flip you around. And now Miss Willow wants outside. <laughs> Hi, Willow. Hi, kitty. Yeah, she's not quite sure. She's checking out. We still have all of this stuff, all this furniture inside right now, which I think I'm gonna put these two. I'm gonna keep these chairs and that table on the inside, um, but there's some things behind it that need to go back outside. Otherwise, um, I'm gonna use this stuff, <laughs> make more space. It's already small, even smaller. But anyway, um, yeah, anyway, this is it, guys. Not much. 
All right, well, again, if you guys like this vlog style, um, I could definitely do it when things kind of happen, when we actually do stuff. Because <laughs> I'm not really doing a whole lot, but I can vlog with you, no problem. Just let me know down below in the comments. All right, you guys, take care, be safe, and have fun.